Hi, this is Kim New. Welcome to Teaching Oboe for the Non-Oboist. All right, I know what you really want to hear about. Not. An oboe read is the most important thing for a student. If a student has a bad read, they're going to sound bad. If a student has a good read, they could sound very good. What to look for when buying an oboe read for a student? I would look for the ones that don't have a wire and that don't have fish skin or Teflon tape or anything wrapped around them. In America, obo players use something called the American Scrape. If you held your reed up to the light, this is what it would look like. In other countries, they scrape reeds differently. This is more of an English scrape. Notice the different scrape, the wire, and the wrapping. Need we talk about fiber cane? Take a look at these reeds. These are nice American scrape reeds. Now let's talk about fixing reeds. If your student's reed is flat, or particularly hard to blow. Maybe the opening is really wide on the reed. If it's really wide, the wider the opening, the harder the kids are gonna have to press down with their lips to produce the sound. So if the opening is very wide and or the reed is flat for the student, you need to do what in technical terms I call squishing. You need to squish it. Put your index finger and your thumb on either side of the very back and part of the thread, I'd say around here of the reed, and you're gonna squish it together. Once you squish it from the back, you'll probably have to kind of open up the tip again, carefully. And that should make your reed less flat and easier for the kids to blow. Always use a feather, never a swab. And always make sure you dry off your reed before putting it in the case. Otherwise, it'll grow fur.